check in and then offer your feedback. Okay, we're going to start again. Uh, we may go just a couple minutes over 10 o'clock because we'd like to give Alex his full time. I'm very pleased to introduce to you Mr. Alex Blanco, all the way from Argentina to talk to us about music, arts, and tasting. Who would not be interested in that? So yeah. let's give Alex a warm one man cup. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Again, Alex Blanco, B L A N C O. If you can say that, you're speaking Spanish already. Right? It means white in Spanish. White. So um, about seven months ago, I started with this idea. It's uh, about putting together things that I like, what I love. So I'm going to be, you know, in the essence of time, very quickly, going through the opportunity. This is geared towards a. Um, event planner, event coordinator, a director of sales, a human resources director that is wants to provide an event that is gonna be memorable for their staff, their customers, you know, whoever is the audience. So those boring events that, you know, nobody goes to attend anymore, well, this is different. Why is different? It's because um, it, this is uh, particularly good for uh, any opportunity for people that love wine or want to learn about wine. So by doing so, uh, I pair wine with hors d'oeuvres or food, and I add live music and art. So I'm gonna you know, play a couple of videos just to give you the idea of what it means. And it's been also a proof of concept for me because this business has two legs in which it stands. One is wine tastings, uh, anywhere from six up to 24 people in a room with, again, wine, hors d'oeuvres, music and arts and uh, wine tours. So the wine tastings are gonna be something like this. Basically, something intimate, a bohemian flair, um, you know, memorable uh, occasion where you know people can understand what the wine experience is. It's not just pouring wine in a, in a, in a glass. He's learning about it. He's learning uh, what it comes from, characteristics about the wine, and the food as well. So I work with chefs uh, to just you know prepare food that goes according to the wine. So imagine a uh, Spanish you know, thing. Imagine uh, wines from Rioja in Spain. In Spain. Uh, flamenco guitar player. Uh, maybe we hang paintings of uh, an artist that has some Spanish influence. Uh, or a jeweler that brings their, their jewels from all the way from Spain. So putting the, all that together, I work, my idea of customer is a, is a corporate customer that wants to use this as a vehicle for their message either uh, a, a customer appreciation event or uh, maybe a sales team that needs some prep to go out there and you know make that campaign uh, successful. So I work together with the communications director being you know, corporate business for the past 25 years. Uh, I can work on that and using this as a vehicle. So I'm sorry about the video, should have been, uh, should have played better, but I don't know what the problem is. Yeah, we get the idea. Excellent. Uh, so the other one, 
to see how that goes, uh, is the wine tours. So the other opportunity for this is to uh, have people out in the open. Uh, we actually, for you know, proof of concept, uh, we got uh, some great footage uh, of the Yaki Valley in North Carolina. It was a 12-hour you know, event.
distance near uh, pilot town. So we still have hours to run, uh, and then the way back. I think what I meant to ask was about pacing. The pace is so, so. So let's let's say that I wanted to, you know, host a group of customers at my house. Correct. What would it cost me to book uh, pacing? Well, uh, anywhere from uh, up to eighteen, uh, you will be at the twenty-five hundred dollar price point, right. and that includes everything. You know, we come with glasses, we come with food, we come with the wine. Everything's good. Uh, and thirty five hundred is Any other questions? I don't know about um, event planners, but I was thinking you could probably research Mod Squad because they do a lot of special events, travel, art, and it's um, architect modern, modernist architecture. That's true. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the, the other the other opportunity, and I'm working with uh, somebody in, uh, in Melbourne, uh, is a travel agent. So these wine tours are going to be are going to be promoted in here. And obviously there is competition. There is other people doing this in Shadow and Ralph. But uh, what I offer is a flexibility of not having to you know deploy huge huge bus just to take a bunch of people. Uh, so I'm very nimble. Honestly, what I really see this hit home on is especially with the wine tasting, is um, getting into Airbnbs. Whenever people come to Raleigh or Durham or anything like that, they're always looking for places to go, things to see, and especially for people that have you know the larger Airbnbs and have the space to host. Especially, um, I know my cousin he has one that sleeps eight in Durham. So if something like that, there's that space there, and people love you know maybe they go out one day and then they. And definitely, uh, so one thing that is hot today in the area, the market, is wine stores, wine shops with wine tastings on the road. Every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, even Sundays, you're gonna see, if you're looking for wine tasting, you can have free wine for five days a week. Uh, so there is a lot of promotion uh, happening today. And one idea is to have the bus go around and just you know, do those wine tastings for people. You can drink, you don't have to worry about, you know, driving and having alcohol. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, there is a disclaimer, a disclaimer to be signed before you get on the bus that, you know, liability and you know, all that is covered. But, you know, always the issue of, you know, being thinking, well, I can't drink because I'm driving. So, that's it. Uh, actually, to build on the Airbnb comment, they just yeah. launched a new part of the service where, depending, like, if you have an easy facility to utilize for yourself, they now have bookings where you invite people and say, I'm making this on this night, and then people will come, and then you know you can you can say, here's the menu, here's the wines I'm pairing, right. or what I'm serving, and then they pay you per plate, almost like you're operating your own little personal restaurant in your house. Right. right. Um, that's something that they've launched because it's all experiential, right? And I think that uh, if you start to mix that with a, with a really good solid education, because I will tell you, you know, coming from New York, which is a highly sophisticated yep. culinary market compared to here. No, I'm not, don't take that personally. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> nobody, nobody knows Shifu Shaiola and Don Juan. And you can actually be educating people a lot. Right. And I think there's a there's a big opportunity for you to even grow the, uh, the amount of people who start to drink wine regularly. Yes. Because yes. I, I don't I don't find that here right. as much. Not even close. Even if you pair it with even if you do something like what Gary B does, which is his wine library, he talks about his wines and stuff. Yes, and different, I mean, even that, I mean, you saw how quickly that blew up overnight. Yep. So yeah, something with this is super scalable. Yeah, I'm kind of on the opposite end of the perspective on that. I don't see a unique value proposition in this working as a chef for 20 years. Uh, you know, what what is different from you, from a catering company offering this service, from a restaurant company offering this service, from a wine distributor who sends people out to do tastings for free and coordination with a restaurant? Uh, you know, wh what is it that makes you special uh, versus all the other competition in that market or 
all the other companies doing wine tours in the market, you know, why why is somebody going to come to you versus somebody who you know maybe is a sommelier, right? Sure. You know, we talked about that earlier. What 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 is it that you're offering that isn't available anywhere else? Sure. So just an example, I had a, a, a you know I was called for a, for a gala to, to just do this for you know a gala. There is a lot of issues with you know permit every permit. So uh, if I were to contact to contract this catering company, I have to do all these different steps myself, be, you know, being the customer, suppose that I'm not doing this. Uh, I take all away from the customer. They just you know, pay the price and I take care of the full experience. Uh, whatever permits are needed, whatever um, location is needed, there may be an additional charge if we need to use an off-site facility, uh, but all that is considered. So I come with the catering, I come with everything together. So it's just a one call. So you're an event planner. Well, you can put it that way. No, yes. An experience. No, it's an experience. Or, 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 or an event consultant. Yeah, so you're, yeah I agree. Yeah. It's not an event. I would say it's an experience. Yeah. 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 Right. Very much. Yeah. So, so that would be the main difference. And, you know, uh, customizing this to, to, the, to, the, to the client. Uh, is it a company that is a pharma company that is catering to these VIP customers and they need to do something special? I work with a corporation. It's, it's not they, they just set up a wine tasting or a, or a bar and put wine. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm working with them in the ideation of, of the school uh, event in order to make them, you know, either present the brand or, um, you know, whatever messaging that, that that corporate customer needs to receive from the company. I, I work, you know, one-on-one -on -one with them. Okay. Another question? Um, I was just wondering, were you ever open to, like, a holiday packages or anything like that for like 4th of July maybe like summer package that's that's summer package, yes. that kind of yes. stuff that yeah. probably would be a good selling point for people as well thank you thank you yes that's what so. so I was at an open house for a blue water spa uh, there was about 50 people there um, I think that would be something that if they do have another open house, that would be something great for you to go to. But the kind of thing that she said is there's like, you know, 24, uh, so 24 people. Is that a soft cap or a hard cap? Uh, it has to do with how many bottles, you know, you want to put. So this is, and trying to keep it in, right, you know, a good size, for a couple of reasons. Uh, for, you know, ABC permits, it has to be a private entity. Why cannot be sold? Otherwise, you, know, you need a license. So there is all these legalities that you need to, you know, work through. Uh, as long as a private vendor you don't charge anything, you have no problem. You can stay. Uh, so that is uh, kind of a hard cap, just in terms of how many what you want to do, and making sure that people appreciate the experience of learning how to take one of the You know, to the other. Yes, sir. Hey there, uh, I've got the mic. Yes. Yep. Uh, I love this, but and by the way, the videos look great, yeah. even when the choppiness may be pretty thirsty. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a friend who runs a beer cation company. It looks very similar when you consider the travel element, what you were describing. But it sounds like you like to work with corporates as well. You describe them as an ideal customer. Do you work with them on their premises? Like, how does that typically you know work out? So that's a good question because it has to do with you know ABC. Yeah. Uh, so if there is a license, you know licenses apply to a physical location. Yeah. So if there is a license already in a restaurant, for instance, uh, I work for the restaurant, but I'm, I'm going to be using their wines. I'm going to be pretty much promoting them. Yeah. So uh, if there is an offsite location where there is no license, it's just you know a residence for parties, and yeah. there is nothing there. So we can pull the one with, with no issues. It is just you know one time you know event for uh, great license that property. And, and then one last question, I'll pass it down. Is do you go on all of the events and trips yourself right now? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Great. Thanks. <coughs> I was gonna say, as far as scalability goes, um, for this, it seems like you're gonna pretty quickly have to get out of being the host of the events or of the tours. So you know, what is it that you need as far as uh, employees for your company or 
you know, to what kind of connections do you need to make to be able to host multiple events on the same days or, you know, get yourself to where you, yeah, you're, you're standing outside market. the market. Accordingly. Yes, yes, no. Uh, so, you know, basically that question goes into um, Alex can do it all. So, um, it'll be contracting independent, uh, uh, you know, wine consultants that can do the, the, the testing experience. Uh, the chefs are also independent, so on a, on a, on a need to use basis. Uh, same with, you know, glasses and dishes and I mean, all that, all that infrastructure, that's plug and play, that's all independent. So depending on, you know, the size of the event uh, and how many events we have, those are the resources that I'm gonna be pulling uh, to work on these. So I'll be the main coordinator and I may not be there, um, you know, on every single event at one point. Eventually, you know, I'm gonna be so busy that, you know, hopefully, you know, uh, I'm gonna get to that point. So I'm gonna have, you know, people that are gonna be coming uh, independent contractors at the beginning, in the future, if we can, you know, make it into uh, a, an LLC that can employ people, we'll definitely do it. I mean, it will depend on how quickly we scale, which I think it probably next year is gonna be hard on, you know, promoting this and just, you know, uh, making it work. Um, I have a question. Yes, so sir. you're you're the guitar player. You're the musician. You're the music. No, no, I have I have I have musicians. I mean, you know, okay. we, we just, you're one of them. We just, you're well, one of them. I, I I do play, but uh, well, I'll be having somebody else do that. Well, so, so you were you're doing your pricing on the on the tours. Yes. And I did the math, and I'm like trying to figure out how that's and how that uh, for an experience. Right. You, I, I'd encourage you to look at your pricing again. Um, because, and I don't know how it works for your for your private event wine tastings, um, but I think if you go all in on the experience, because that's what I hear right. you really passionate about, right. then that that changes the game for the kinds of clients that you're looking for. And if you're saying, "Hey, look, I'm really trying to keep it intimate," like I think it, it's worthwhile to look at your revenue model and think about. What's it going to take? Because I think when you start scaling, if that's something you actually want to do, you're going to need a little bit more cash than what your what it looks like your margins probably are right now. Right. And it's probably okay right now, but if you're thinking that you're going to go to scale, you may need to revisit that and then leverage the daylights out of the experience, intimate closeness, and and find that target market. Thank you. Right. So on the corporate side, I just my input as well. Uh, the educational piece, I think, is something that's really important. While we all love to drink wine, we, we know what we like, we know what we don't like. Right. We may not know why we do right. or don't, but for the corporate market, right, you want to look really good in front of your yeah. clients when you're entertaining them, right? Correct. So I think that's a really cool piece of it. Any other questions? Just one more. All right, awesome. <laughs> do you have any, like, reviews from your tours? Like uh, TripAdvisor reviews or anything like Not that? Not yet. We have a couple of testimonials that we recorded, but we haven't posted anything yet. Okay. Fantastic. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Now we're going to make sure Alex gets properly mugged. Thank, Thank you so much. Okay. We're going to use it. Okay, so I have a, a thought. Since I have a mic, I'm going to give you the thought. I appreciated what Dave said. Um, to me, I like the Alex Blanco experience, music, wine, and taste. Okay? Because the experience is you. It's not just the vino, it's not just the, the chef, it's, it's you orchestrating and bringing this together. So I think your persona is key. There's, there's a lot of wine out there, there's a lot of music out there, and especially playing the guitar. Uh, I just think that that's awesome. Presentation-wise, Suggestion is maybe download the, the video into yeah, a, a non-streaming format because they were beautiful videos.